by giving all praises to the Most High, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakwadash, double honor to the elders and apostles, along with the Holy Spirit, who taught us His truth, honor to the brethren that's laboring doing the work to push the gospel, risking their life and freedom to do so, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, which would be one third of us Israelites, according to scripture, who would be the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, who would be returning back to the Most High, seeking our salvation by hearing and believing on his word so that he will have mercy on us in judgment. So we'll be back with another lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. And this lesson is going to be titled Lockdowns and Famine of the Word. And just like the video I did previously, we're going to play a string of video clips. And these video clips are going to show the beginning stages of a lockdown. And you know, there's going to be um, lockdowns for different reasons. But no matter the cause, you know, the effect is going to be a lockdown. And we see the beginning stages of that right now. Even uh, reading the Bible in public. That's going to contribute to there being a lockdown. So all this stuff is tied together. So we're going to get this first video clip. It's titled Miami Beach Cracks Down on Spring Breakers. Don't sound like too much, but let's play it and see what they say. From the skies above Miami Beach, this might look like the start of the same old spring break. Why Miami Beach? It's the best place to go for spring break. But one thing's already clear. Those flocking to South Beach for some fun in the sun are aware that the rules are going to be very different this year. And that's just the thing for 2024. Things are going to be very different this year. We see all the draconian laws, all the unrighteous decrees that's being passed right now to take away our freedoms and our liberties, to have more control of the people, to bring about this new world order. So these are the beginning stages, you know, for a more serious lockdown to come. You plan on coming to Miami Beach for spring break? Don't do it. All of the streets are locked down here. Do not. She said all of the streets are blocked down there. And that's going to be seen more throughout America. There's going to be more blocking of the streets. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. Miami Beach for spring break, don't do it. All of the streets are locked down here. Do not come down here. The city's high profile campaign to break up with spring break. This isn't working anymore. And it's not us, it's you. Includes videos like this. You can expect things like curfews, bag checks, and restricted beach access. Hey, those are the beginning stages of a lockdown. So what's going on in Miami, you know, spring break, it's a soft lockdown, curfews, everything shutting down earlier than usual. You being forced to stay inside overnight. And they said, what? Restricted beach access. You not having access to certain parts of the city. And they said, what? Bag checks. Once upon a time, you needed a search warrant to search. But, you know, look like, you know, they won't be needing one, you know, to randomly search people. But let's continue. You can expect things like curfews, bag checks, and restricted beach access. DUI checkpoints, $100 parking. Hey, DUI checkpoints and $100 parking. There's going to be more checkpoints for different reasons. Checkpoints across the different cities to see who got the hokey pokey or not. Checkpoints for let's see who got the MOTB or not. And what? You know, harsh fines for not complying. You know, in this case, it's a hundred dollar fine. Well, there's going to be many different fines for many different different reasons in the times to come. All of it coming after violence and bad behavior marred the last few years. So the, the, the cause is bad behavior, but it don't matter the cause. The effect is a lockdown. You know, rather it's a pandemic, a, a bad behavior, a prison outbreak, which you're about to see in a few minutes from now but the effect is a lockdown then well if we let this play long enough it actually tells you that miami beach went to a state of emergency 
Now that's the beginning stages of a lockdown. So we're going to go forward. Safer this year. So have you noticed the increased presence of police officers? Yes. And towing, increased police, towing. Uh, they block these streets off right here. As so we're going to see a lot more of this. Now this is the last one for this clip. Then we're going to keep it moving. Beach's police chief, Wayne Jones, telling us every member of the department is working extended hours for spring break. And they're using new drone technology from Skydio to track incidents and those in distress. He says the city's safety plan is comprehensive. So those are the beginning stages of a lockdown. So now we're going to get into this next clip. 11 spring breakers are here. Cities up and down the coast are already taking steps to control the large crowds that come with it. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero is on Miami Beach where some closures have already begun. We are here on South Beach where spring break is in full swing and with spring breakers comes changes. The city is closing the beach at 6 p.m. every evening. No alcohol is allowed on the beach and extra law enforcement present. So they say they're closing the beach at 6 p.m every day that's pretty early those are the early stages of a lockdown when they enforce curfews and with these curfews there's gonna come penalty for not complying and she said what no alcohol on the beach we know that's what college students do is drink especially on spring break and especially on the beach The city is closing the beach at 6 p.m. every evening. No alcohol is allowed on the beach. Hey, that's enough to ruin your vacation. You know, for a college student going to spring break at Miami Beach. Now we're going to jump forward a little bit just to get to this point. That someone would take heed of the messes. Fort Lauderdale officials held a press conference about the rules for a spring break. Like no alcohol, no loud music, and no coolers on the beach. You hear that? No alcohol on the beach. No loud music on the beach. Not even any coolers on the beach. So if you go into the beach, you can't do nothing but swim, play some kind of activity, or sit there or walk. You know? But let's get to the precepts real quick to see what the scriptures say about that. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. And we in those evil days right now, nor the years draw nigh. But what? You still got the liberty, the opportunity to seek repentance, to repent, turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So again, remember now thy creator, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, in the days of thy youth, why do evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So the days are coming in which the people are going to have no pleasure. And that's the reason why most of our people are blinded from turning back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai right now. They got, you know, the pleasure to do whatever they please. You know, they're distracted by the cares of this world. So what? The Lord got to pull all these pleasures back to get his people to pay attention. But then it's going to be too late. But again, the Lord says, seek him before the evil days draw nigh. You know, when they shall say, I have no pleasure in them. And we see the pleasure is being pulled back right now. For example, at Miami Beach Spring Break, they said, you know, DUI checkpoints, no coolers on the beach. No alcohol on the beach. You can have music, but no loud music. You know what I'm saying? So that's the pleasure being pulled back right now. You know, these are the days of no pleasure. And then when we go to the book of Isaiah 24, we're going to hear verse 7. The new wine mourneth and the vine languisheth. All the merry hearted do sigh. What's the merry hearted? Those who will be in the house of mirth. They in the spirit of gladness and joyfulness. When they should be in a time of sorrow. Seeking repentance from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Before the evil days, you know, get here. Which we already in them days. The mirth of the tabrets ceaseth. Mirth goes into joyfulness and gladness. 
and the tabrets would be the sound of happy music. So again, the mirth of the tabrets ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, and the joy of the harp ceaseth. So yeah, so the noise of enjoyment is ended. They said no loud music on the beach, no alcohol, curfews, beach shut down at 6 p.m. You're going to see that have a ripple effect into other areas, other aspects of American life. Let's continue. They shall not drink wine with a song. And what's this drinking wine with a song? Drinking and dancing and listening to music. This liberty is being taken away from the Miami Beach Spring Breakers. Because what they say, um, what they say about the beach, let's go back to it. Fort Lauderdale officials held a press conference about the rules for a spring break. Like no alcohol, no loud music, and no coolers on the beach. Yeah, they shall not drink wine with a song. And this is going to have a ripple effect in in the times of the blackout, you're not going to be able to hear no music. No electronic devices is going to work or EMP attack. Strong drinks should be bitter to them that drink it because if there is any alcohol around, you're not going to uh, drink it, you know, out of gladness. You're going to be drinking with a bitter heart. You're going to be drinking it full of sorrows. Now, let's get this in the NLT. The mirth of the tabernacle ceaseth, the noise of doom that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth, the cheerful sound of tambourines is still, the happy cries of celebration are no more. So again, the happy cries of celebration are heard no more. So the sound of spring breakers, partying, dancing, jamming on the beach, that's no more. And that's going to spread to other aspects of life here in America. The melody is chords so the harp are silent. So yeah, the cries of celebration, you know, vacationers, spring breakers, holiday celebrators, you know, the sound of a payday Friday weekend, you know, everybody living it up. Oh, that's about to wrap up. Gone are the joys of wine and song. So the joy of drinking and listening to music, that's about to be gone. The store is about to dry up. The power grid about to collapse. Alcoholic drink turns bitter in the mouth, so you're not going to drink it with uh, a joyful heart. You're going to be drinking it uh, full of sorrows. And then when we go to verse 10, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. So, yeah, going into an early curfew, going into a lockdown or going into the streets being too dangerous where people are forcing themselves to stay indoors. So with this, we're going to go to got a little article we're going to put up real quick. Forgive me. So, yeah, th th those are the beginning stages of a lockdown, you know, 6 p.m. curfew, DUI checkpoints, bag checks, no coolers, music, loud music, and alcohol on the beach. Now, this is a, another article that all the brothers been going in on, the C367. Reading aloud from the Bible is hate speech to be severely punished, and we're the only people who read the Bible aloud in public. The only people that's bringing this truth. Well, let's hit Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Why? Because reading the Bible aloud is going to be considered hate speech. Let's continue. They shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. 
So yeah, they should run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. They will be coming by our spots where we usually bring the word out in public, but not going to find us. They should wander from sea to sea. This is a metaphor for the internet because you can surf the sea just like you surf the net. They shall run to and fro. Hey, this can also be used to refer to the internet as well because what is Google known as? You know, the internet, you know, it's a search engine. So not only people going to be physically running to and fro, they're going to be running these search engines to and fro. And then when your web page is loading, it got the wheel turning to show that your web, that your web page is loading. So they're going to be running these search engines to and fro all over Rumble, all over YouTube, all over IG, uh, Twitter, Odyssey. They're going to be running these search engines to and fro, but not going to find under this word. And so when you punish people for doing something in public, you know, those are the beginning stages of a lockdown. In the case with the spring breakers, you know, they can't have loud music and alcohol on the beach. Well, in the scriptures, the word is a metaf The word is described, you know, as a song, as the new song. And also, you know, wine is used as a metaphor to describe this word as well. So just like they banning uh, loud music and alcohol on the beach, well, they banning this song, the new song contained in the Holy Scriptures from being sung. Though this is a form of spiritual wine, you know, they banning that. And that they shut the a fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. And the thirst for what? A thirst for knowledge. The desire to know what's going on, what they should be doing, how to survive what's coming. What the Bible say about this? Well, we go back to um, Isaiah chapter 24. We're going to start at verse 9 again. They shall not drink wine with a song. That's music and drinking. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. And when we go down here, um, again, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. So, yeah, the prophet's going to be uh, shut up in the house, too. And this is the point right here. There is a crying for a wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth, the happiness of the land is gone. What's that cry for wine? Well, you can just bet that people at the beach going to be physically complaining and upset about not being able to drink alcohol on the beach. So this could be literal, but, you know, what it really means that there's going to be a, a cry for understanding what's going on. That's a cry for why, you know, what's going on. But also, too, a cry for hearing his word. You know, back to Amos 8 and 13, in that day, the famine of the word, the virgins and the young men are going to faint for thirst. So that's why it'll be a crying for wine in the streets. You know, you're going to have... You know, the people that's out of their mind, you know, upset about not being able to drink and have alcohol in certain places. But it's going to be more people who desire to know what's going on. And there's not going to be any answers out there. So all joy is darkened. You know, that's why they banning alcohol and music from certain places. Curfews, fines, DUI checkpoints, and the mirth is gone from the land. So, we got another video right here that we're going to get into. We it reads, Haiti, Haiti declares emergency after gangs free 4,000 inmates. Begin in Haiti, a 72-hour state of emergency has been declared in Port-au-Prince. So a state of emergency is the beginning stage of a lockdown. If things don't get better, you know, a lockdown is going to have to follow. The rounds after armed gangs carried out two serious jailbreaks. The BBC has been told the vast majority of inmates held the capital's main prison have escaped. 
some 4,000 men. Gangs who now control much of Port-au-Prince broke into the jail in the early hours of Sunday. At least 12 people have been killed in the unrest. This latest upsurge in violence began on Thursday when the country's Prime Minister, Ariel Henry, travelled to Nairobi to discuss sending a Kenyan-led multinational security force to Haiti. You heard that? A Kenyan-led um, multinational security force. In other words, UN troops was coming over here to America. Except in America, it's going to be a Chinese-led multinational security force. Minister Ariel Henry traveled to Nairobi to discuss sending a Kenyan-led multinational security force to Haiti. For more, I spoke to Harold Isaac, who's a free... So, yeah, pretty much you got, you know, prisoners breaking out of prison in Haiti. You know, Haiti being overrun by these gang members. Well, that's what contribute to Isaiah chapter 24 um, verse 10, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. So people will be shut up in the houses because of a curfew, because of a lockdown or a blackout or the streets of America just being too dangerous, too much chaos breaking out. But also, too, we're going to go to back to Ecclesiastes chapter 12. We're going to hit verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. So over there in Haiti, the keepers of the house, the prison guards, the prison security, they trembling right now. Well, that's going to happen here in America. And the strong men shall bow themselves. They're going to take a knee. And the grinders cease because there are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. You, a metaphor for, you know, looking out the window and you see all uh, hope is lost. Or you could look out the window and it literally be dark because of a blackout. And the door shall be shut in the streets. Yeah. When the sound of the grinding is low, he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music should be brought low. So yeah, the doors gonna be shut in the streets because of the curfews, the lockdowns, the streets of America being too dangerous, you know, to be outdoors. But also too, we're gonna hit Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse fifteen. For the sword and their destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against one another and swords in their hands. Yeah, because all these prisoners that just broke out of Haiti, where do you think they about to go? They about to come to America. Because what people don't know, that Haiti is pretty much a third world country after the earthquake. And this is what the brother Kalab was telling me. And you got prisoners dying from unsanitary conditions in the prison. All kinds of hepatitis, all kinds of other diseases killing them up. So it's not like that they rebels, they just wanna break free. Yeah, every prisoner wanna break free, but they breaking free trying to save their life from those horrible living conditions, from all the disease outbreaks behind the bars out there. And where do you think they're about to come? Where everybody else coming to America? They coming here for judgment, to bring judgment on this place, to have judgment executed on them. So this could contribute to people fighting with swords in their hands. For there should be sedition among men that's happening down there in Haiti, that's happening here in America, and evading one another. They should not regard their kings nor princes, don't give a damn about the government or law enforcement. And of course, their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, because law enforcement gonna be outgunned. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So, yeah, that's a lockdown. You know, rather because it's a prison outbreak, a massive influx of illegal immigrants, or if it's, if it's a spring break lockdown, for one reason or another, it's a lockdown. Or, for example, if it's people out there reading the Bible, they're going to start shutting down um, different parts of the city to keep us from being out, from being out there. And then last video I got is from the brother. It's from the brother um, Ibar Yahabada. I believe this is uh, GMS uh, Tampa out there in Florida. You know, he posted this video or he did a lesson on it. And this is some device that the Chinese got. But let's let this play real quick. The video. <laughs> I'm 
And we know that Claus Swab said he admires, you know, this whole system that China is building. So we know this and much more is coming to the streets of America. They're going to physically, you know, cut off access, you know, to the cities. So again, that's why it may so desire to go into a city and not be able to. You're going to have stuff like this and physical law enforcement and checkpoints, you know, preventing you from going any further. And now we also going to get this in the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 21, verse 4. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, wherewith ye fight against the king of Babylon and against the Chaldeans, which besiege you without the walls. So right now, a besiege is taking place. And let's get this word besiege. To bind, confine, to confine, secure, to shut in, to shut up, to enclose. And that's exactly what this is showing right here. So again, this is a besiege to confine, to shut in, to shut up, or to enclose. Rather it be in law enforcement. Rather it be these little, whatever you call them that come out the ground. You know, a great besiege is coming to the cities of America. And I will assemble them into the midst of the city. And I, and I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm, even in anger and in fury and in great wrath. So, yeah, America is being besieged. You know, rather, it's a scenario of rowdy spring breakers. You know, rather, it's the event of a prison outbreak. What it is, they got to get everybody indoors first. And those are the beginning stages of a lockdown. Then once they made some progress, you know, then they're going to start enforcing uh, more strict measures on that lockdown. You know, and it's going to be reinforced law enforcement, drones, mechanical dogs, whatever you call these things that come up from the ground that we were just showing. But again, you know, lockdowns and feminine of the word come into America. So, Lord, wouldn't that was edifying? Till next time, Shalom.